Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. So, I do believe it was Malcolm X who said it best. Chickens come home to roost. And in the case of the Democrats, chickens are coming home to roost. It's a take on the old karma thing and whatever energy you put out there will come back to you. So let's uh, read this article from The Hill. This article is written by Jonathan Turley. It was posted five hours ago. Today is Saturday, December 19th, 2020. So it was posted this morning. And let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. The article is titled, How Democrats Claim Trump Punity to Abandon Their Federal Restraints. Says, as Washington prepares for a Biden administration, congressional Democrats are discovering they cannot live without Donald Trump. In controversies ranging from federal investigations to executive orders, they're invoking Trump to justify abandoning the very principles they invade against him for four years. There is a sense of uh, immunity from needing to be consistent or coherent. Call it Trump unity. You know what, I'm going to have to read the Hill more, article, or more often. I, I like this. Trump unity is the right to adopt the very practices or policies you once denounced. All because you're not Trump. Even the mention of his name magically relieves any duty to follow prior positions. So it was no problem when incoming White House Deputy Chief of Staff Jenner, Jennifer O'Malley Dillon heralded the Biden administration as ushering in a new sense of unity while calling Republicans a bunch of efforts. Although Dillon later apologized, figures like Hillary Clinton and, it's not from an article, Hillary Clinton, I might add, Joy Behar, Whoopi Goldberg, Don Lemon, they all supported her. 70 million people, 70 million Trump supporters. This is what they think of you. See, Dan's words have to get out there. So make sure you, you share or you send it to somebody who's of like mind. We need to see this stuff. We need to turn on to this kind of news that we're not going to find on average television. It's just not going to happen. You know, you're not going to see this on MSNBC or the Crying Negro Network. <clears throat> uh, so to pick up where I left off, although Dylan later apologized, figures like Hillary Clinton publicly supported her vulgar attack. It's perfectly acceptable given Trump's past rhetoric. There's now an open license to engage in the very same behavior as he did. That's what the article says. I have a question, some of it. Most of his attacks were actually firebacks. When he was attacked, he would attack, which any, any man worth his salt, any person worth their salt is gonna do. If you attack me, I'm attacking back. I'm not gonna stand there and take it. And Trump is very old school like that, so I appreciate that. This is, of course, little more than a juvenile. He did it first defense. Washington is long floated on the deep rolling sea of hypocrisy, but now leaders do not even feel the need for pretense. They have Trump. After complaining for years that Trump acted unilaterally through executive orders, I do believe Obama started that, <clears throat> if I'm correct, which I am. Democrats now call on Joe Biden to do the same. Just a few months ago, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer denounced Trump's unilateral coronavirus relief orders as unconstitution, a circumvention of Congress. Now he wants Biden to circumvent Congress for his or after his inauguration with such acts as wiping out up to $50,000 in debt per college student, a massive federal subsidy without any vote of Congress. And that's true. And now you look, because you got to go back to when the coronavirus jumped off and Trump said, hey, we're going to have a vaccine by the end of the year. They were like, no, we're not. But actually, when it first jumped off, they were saying it wasn't even a big deal, that Trump was lying, that he was xenophobic, that he hated China, he hated the Chinese people, because, you know, China owns the Democrats and the NBA. Let's just be honest about it. I bet you can't make Steve Kerr say one bad thing about China. I know you can't, because people have tried, and he won't do it. He'll just say, well, what about all the gun violence here in America? And oh, I hate that dude. I hate him. His team's not even that good. Piece of crap. For years, Democrats and an array of legal experts denounced Trump was 
denounced Trump for dismissing the Russian, Russia collusion investigation as a politically motivated hoax. They insisted on the appointment of a special counsel and described even rhetorical criticism as criminal obstruction or witness tampering. Now, Biden has dismissed, dismissed federal investigations of his son as just another form of political foul play. Various Democrat senators, including Schumer, have called for the Justice Department not to investigate the Hunter Biden allegations. A figure like House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff called for the termination of the Durham investigation. That is true. Remember when Trump got a lot of flack when he went after China? I keep making the China connection because we're in dire straits with China, but I'm going to read this article. With the confirmation of federal investigations into Hunter Biden, the media and Democrat, Democratic figures dropped their prior claims that such allegations were Russian disinformation. Remember, remember, when the New York Times put up the article, the article on Hunter Biden, describing his corruption and saying that he was under invest investigation. So come find out now he's been under investigation for three years, right? Twitter blocked their account. Facebook blocked their account. They made them take it down, which is why you won't see many Dan Dawson videos on Facebook. You'll see me post stuff there as far as my actual videos, because we all know they all work together. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, they all work together. So if YouTube doesn't find what I'm saying, that's on them. Even though I know they're not putting my videos in their algorithm, I don't care. I don't do this for money. I do, the, do this because the truth needs to get out there. So to pick back up where I left off, and Schiff's words, out of the Kremlin. Now the influence peddling scheme is treated as true, but dismissed as no worse than what the Trumps did. In other words, if the Trump kids cash in on their father, so can Hunter Biden. It does not matter if, they were, if there were tax or money laundering crimes, or if Joe Biden lied about his knowledge or role. The same people who demanded investigations of the business dealings of Trump's children now cite those dealings to denounce any investigation of Biden's son. <clears throat> so basically what they're saying, because remember before Trump was president, he was a private citizen. He was already a billionaire, right? Well, I'm going to tell you this. My daddy's a billionaire. I'm going into the family business. <laughs> that is what it is. My dad's a billionaire. I'm going into the family business. I'm not even going to front you about it. However, when your dad's a politician and you're using taxpayer money to control and influence the world and make millions and millions of dollars for your kid and your brother, you're, you're, you're guilty of some things. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Trump has long had a similarly distortive impact on legal analysts. Both media and legal figures abandoned long held views on criminal justice to endorse sweeping interpretations of criminal and constitution provision, constitutional provisions to justify charging or impeaching Trump. Flawed theories rejected by the Supreme Court were declared to be perfectly plausible when used against Trump. <clears throat> and that goes back, I'm gonna go back to the view because really I hate those old whiny, nagging, oh, just horrible people, God. Whine, whine, nag, scream, cry, complain. Oh, hold up, it's not just them, it's all liberals, that's what they do. <clears throat> now, with only weeks left in office for Trump, there continues to be a sense of abandon and sweeping constitutional claims relating to him, considering the issue of self-pardon, while long viewed as an open question under the Constitution, various legal experts have declared that Trump clearly cannot pardon himself, a view some of us have challenged. One academic, Ken Gormley, went further this week proposing not, that not only can Trump not pardon himself, but that Biden can unpardon him if he does. Such a view would require one to learn the constitutional language, which not only does not limit the pardon power, but does not create any power to resent the pardons of prior presidents. Indeed, such a view would run counter to the history and purposes of pardons. Trump, however, seems virtually extra-constitutional, a rationale ended up for himself. Even constitutional terms apparently no longer have discernible meaning if they come in the same sentence as Trump. Senator Janine Shaheen, Democrat from New Hampshire, told CNN 
that members of con Congress who question the election results are boarding on sedition and treason. That would mean more than 70% of Republicans and 10% of Democrats nationwide are potentially traitors for believing Trump won. It's the same position taken recently before the Supreme Court by Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro, or Attorney, Josh, or Attorney General Josh Shapiro, who called a legal challenge to the election sedacious. However, the use of the courts or Congress to raise such objections is the very opposite of sedition, which seeks to overthrow the legal system. So let me break that down for you. So basically what they're saying is, because remember for four years they said, no, Trump didn't win, and there was China collusion. So for four years, the Democrats, liberals, all these left-wingers have been guilty of sedition. I would even say treason. And if you watch the Dan Dawson show, you know what happens to traitors. Keep your powder dry, keep your powder dry. Democrats did not accuse their colleagues of treason or sedition when they sought to block the certification of Ohio's electoral votes in Congress in 2004. They did not call Hillary Clinton treacherous for advising Biden not to concede any Trump victory on election night. They did not describe members of Congress or the media as traitors for replete, repeatedly declaring Trump illegitimate over the last four years, even though honestly, I tell you, three people you can string up today to make Dan happy. Just three. Just start with these three. Hillary Clinton, Joy Behar, Behar and Whoopi Goldberg. <sighs> tell you what, if that happened, the whiskey's on me. Come on over and get your shot. Napoleon once said, treason is a matter of dates, and the key dates uh, the key date in the United States for now appears to be November 7th, the day the media declared Joe Biden a presumptive winner. It also would assume to be the day that millions of Americans became presumptive traitors for questioning the election results. This, according to the same Democrats who once legitimately denounced Trump for calling his critics traitors and enemies of the people. Seems Trump is simply too useful to really let go. Without him, the critics would be forced to live according to their values they claim to defend for the last four years. Why be civil, collaborative, or constitutional when you can act like Trump? After all, you've got Trump immunity. So that's the end of the article. I thought it was a really good article. Um, make sure you check out more from the Hill. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's what I'm saying. You come out and scream and cry for unity. The Trumpers aren't, aren't cooperating. What? You call us a bunch of effers. Support who I want to support. You're not running shit. So, but see, that's the thing with liberals, right? Here's my take on the mindset of a liberal. They will come up and punch you in the face. And if you punch them back, they'll call you the attacker. So as always, thank you for watching this episode of The Dan Dawson Show. Like, subscribe, share, keep your powder dry, and do what you got to do.